sports, sometimes you win and sometimes you lose. That's basically the nature of every game. The year 2022 was definitely a losing year for the following sports greats, as well as their friends, their families, and the sports fans who adored them as this was the year they hung up their jerseys for the last time. This list of athletes who died in 2022 is meant to help celebrate all the great players so that we remember the success they had on the field, on the court, or just in life. Number 1. Dwayne Haskins Pittsburgh Steelers quarterback Dwayne Haskins passed away in the early morning hours of April 9, 2022 after being struck by a dump truck while walking on the South Florida Highway. He was 24 years old. Haskins was pronounced dead at the scene and according to report, he was attempting to cross the westbound lanes of Interstate 595 when there was oncoming traffic. Dwayne Haskins had been in Florida because he was training with other Steelers quarterbacks, running backs, and wide receivers. Dwayne Haskins played in 16 games over two seasons with Washington. He threw for 12 touchdowns to 14 interceptions. He started seven games in his rookie year and the first four games the following season, but was benched eventually and later released by Washington. He signed a reserve slash future contract with the Pittsburgh Steelers in January 2021. He had his greatest on-field success at Ohio State. After his first two seasons, Dwayne Haskins beat out Joe Burrow to be Buckeye's starting quarterback going into the 2018 season. There, he delivered perhaps the greatest passing season in program history. He sets Big Ten single-season records for passing yards for 4,831, 50 touchdown passes, and total offensive yards for 4,939 in addition to 28 school records. The record-setting year led him to being named a Heisman Trophy finalist and a third-team Associated Press All-American. In his final Buckeyes game, Dwayne Haskins threw for three touchdowns for 251 yards in a Rose Bowl victory over Washington. Number 2. Marion Barber III Former NFL running back Marion Barber III passed away on June 1, 2022. He was 38 years old. Barber was drafted by the Dallas Cowboys in the fourth round of the 2005 NFL Draft, and he played in the NFL for seven seasons. Although he started as a backup to Julio Jones, Barber found a niche as a third down rusher and a closer in the red zone. Barber led the NFC with 14 rushing touchdowns in 2006 and was the first known place kicker since 2000 to lead the Cowboys in scoring 96 points. Known for his ability as a power back who punished defenders, Barber earned the nickname Marion the Barbarian, and he was the league leader in breaking tackles, reflecting his personal mantra, hit or get hit. In 2007, he was named to his first Pro Bowl, despite officially being a backup. Number 3. Ronnie Hillman Super Bowl champion running back Ronnie Hillman passed away on December 21, 2022, after a battle with cancer. He was 31 years old. Hillman was drafted by the Denver Broncos in the third round of the 2012 NFL Draft and earned a starting job in the 2013 season. That year, the Denver Broncos reached Super Bowl 58 but lost 43-8 to to the Seattle Seahawks. Ronnie Hillman had the most productive season of his career in 2015, rushing for 863 yards and 7 touchdowns. Ronnie Hillman was part of the Broncos team that won Super Bowl 50. In the game, the Broncos defeated the Carolina Panthers by a score of 24-10. to 10. Number 4. Jalen Ferguson Baltimore Ravens outside linebacker Jalen Ferguson passed away on June 21, 2022. He was 26 years old. Jalen Ferguson played college football at Louisiana Tech University. As a sophomore in 2016, he set the school record for sacks in a single season with 14 and a half. During his senior season, he broke the school record for career sacks and broke his own record for sacks in a single season with 17 and a half. Jalen Ferguson became the NCAA FBS career sack leader during the 2018 Hawaii Bowl and was also named winning team MVP of that game. Jalen Ferguson was drafted by the Baltimore Ravens in the third round of the 2019 NFL Draft. Ferguson recorded his first career sack against the Houston Texans that year, bringing down Deshaun Watson. Jalen Ferguson played in the NFL for three seasons. Number 5. Franco Harris NFL Hall of Fame running back Franco Harris passed away on December 20th 2022. He was 72 years old. Franco Harris was selected by the Pittsburgh Steelers in the first round of the 1972 NFL Draft. The 13th overall pick. He played his first 12 years in the NFL with the Steelers and his 13th and final year was spent with the Seattle Seahawks. He started his NFL career with a bang 
winning the 1972 Rookie of the Year. A nine-time Pro Bowl selection, he won four Super Bowls with the Steelers, including winning MVP honors in Super Bowl IX over the Minnesota Vikings. He was also the NFL rushing touchdown leader in 1976. He was a key player in one of professional most famous plays, the Immaculate Reception, which gave the Steelers first ever playoff win. Upon retirement, Franco Harris opened a bakery and became a businessman. He was inducted into the NFL Hall of Fame in 1990. Number 6. Jeff Gladney Gladney died in a car crash at the age of 25. Jeff Gladney was an American football cornerback of the National Football League for two seasons. He played college football at a Texas Christian University and was a twice all-conference selection in the Big 12. He was selected by the Minnesota Vikings in the first round of the 2020 NFL Draft. He signed with Arizona Cardinals in 2022, but never played for the team before his untimely death. Number 7. Lavelle Davis Jr., Devin Chandler, and Deshaun Perry College football players Lavelle Davis Jr., Devin Chandler, and Deshaun Perry all tragically passed away November 13, 2022. All three men were juniors at the University of Virginia. These three young men were members of the Virginia Cavaliers football team since 2020. Davis Jr. and Chandler played wide receiver, while Perry played linebacker. Davis has 16 catches for 371 yards and two touchdowns this season. As a freshman in 2020, he caught 20 passes for 515 yards and five touchdowns, averaging 25.8 yards per catch. Perry had five tackles in three games this season. He had an 84-yard interception return for a touchdown during his freshman season in 2020. Chandler did not appear in the game this season after transferring from Wisconsin. He caught two passes for 28 yards as a freshman and had a 59-yard kickoff return in the Dukes Mayo Bowl for the Badgers in 2020. The three young men were tragically shot and killed as they returned to the school's main campus in Charlottesville from a field trip. Number 8. Bill Russell 11 times NBA champion Bill Russell passed away on July 31st, 2022. He was 88 years old. Bill Russell played in the wake of black pioneers L. Lloyd, Chuck Cooper, and Sweetwater Clifton. He was the first black player to achieve superstar status in the NBA. In 1966-1969, he became a player coach for the Celtics, becoming the first black coach in the NBA and the first to win a championship. Bill Russell played as a center for the Boston Celtics, from 1956 to 1969. He was a five-time MVP, 12-time NBA All-Star, and was the centerpiece of the Celtics dynasty that won 11 NBA championships during his 13-year career. Bill Russell is widely considered to be one of the greatest basketball players of all time. He led the San Francisco Dons to two consecutive NCAA championships in 1955 and 1956, and was the captain of the gold medal winning U.S. national basketball team at the 1956 Summer Olympics. Bill Russell was inducted into the NBA Hall of Fame in 1975. He was selected into the NBA 25th anniversary team in 1971 and the NBA 35th anniversary in 1980, named as one of the 50 greatest players in history in 1996, one of only four players to receive all three honors, and was selected into the NBA 75th anniversary team in 2021. In 2009, the NBA renamed the NBA Finals MVP award in his honor. Number 9. Paul Silas NBA lifer Paul Silas passed away on December 11, 2022 due to a heart attack. He was 79 years old. Paul Silas was drafted by the St. Louis Hawks in the second round of the 1964 NBA draft. After a relatively slow career start, things picked up for the power forward. Paul Silas was a two-time NBA All-Star and earned five selections to the NBA All-Defensive Team, including twice on the first team. He won three NBA championships, two with the Boston Celtics and one with the Seattle Supersonics. Immediately upon retirement, Paul Silas started his coaching career with the San Diego Clippers from 1980 to 1983. He later coached the Shallow Hornets from 1999 to 2022 and became the first head coach in history for the New Orleans Pelicans franchise. Silas went on to coach LeBron James and mentor the young superstar in his first few years in the NBA on the Cleveland Cavaliers. His last coaching tenure was with the Charlotte Bobcats from 2010 to 2012. Number 10, Adrian Payne. Former Michigan State basketball star and NBA center, Adrian Payne passed away on May 9, 2022 after being shot and killed while trying to help a woman engage in a domestic dispute. He was just 31 years old. The 6th and center who was a standout at Michigan State University, playing alongside Golden State Warriors star Jeremy Green. 
Payne was a member of the All Big Ten second team in two of his four seasons. That is 2012-2013 and 2013-2014 with Tom Izzo's squad. He averaged 16.4 points per game and 7.3 rebounds per game for the Spartans and led the team to the Elite Eight in the 2013-2014 season. He played four seasons in the NBA with multiple teams, eventually moving overseas. He played most recently in Lithuania during the 2021-2022 season, but parted ways with Juventus Utana in February. And we can't forget NBA power forward Caleb Swanigan, who passed away on June 20, 2022. He was just 25 years old. Caleb Swanigan played college basketball at Purdue University. He was named Big Ten Freshman of the Week three times, a record at Purdue. He was also named to the Big Ten All-Freshman team and also received a National Freshman of the Week award. During his sophomore year, Caleb was named the Big Ten Player of the Year and the first team All-Big Ten and was a unanimous first team All-American. He was a finalist for the 2017 Karl Malone Award given to the nation's top power forward. Because of this, the big man was selected 26th overall in the first round of the 2017 NBA Draft by the Portland Trail Blazers. Over his three-year NBA career, Caleb Swanigan played two seasons with the Trail Blazers and also played one year for the Sacramento Kings. 